Right, hello everybody and welcome down to Formby Ladies Golf Club. I'm Matt Fryer and today I'm here to help you chip it better around the greens. So as you can see, we're out on this beautiful golf course and we're actually faced with a real life situation now. And I'm going to give you three of them. Three different shots that we would see around the green and if we can get better at them, hopefully we're going to see our scores come down. Now, what I tend to see, you know, with a lot of my pupils is that they have one shot. They try and get the lob wedge out and help it up in every single instance. They're never really looking at the situation to start off with, seeing what you know faces that ball on its journey towards the hole. And if we're able to, you know, to understand a few things and make a little road map in our mind of how we're gonna hit this shot, then we should start to see that we can choose the right shot and then get it closer. I said, you know, a lot of people use lob wedge. Now, I'm I'm in of two minds, really. I'm coming round at the moment to using one wedge to chip with and getting really good with that. When I think back to when I was playing all the time as a junior, I would literally stand with my 58 and I could make it do anything I wanted, high, low, medium, moving a certain way. And I became really, really confident with that. And I think one of the aspects of having a good short game is being confident in what we're about to do. So for this, this technique, what I want you to try and do is just become very accustomed and very friendly with one wedge. I'm gonna be using my 58 today, um, but I'm gonna be playing three different shots. I'm gonna be playing a high one, a medium one, and a low one. And it's like I say, knowing when to play those. So as we get this ball here now, as you can see, there's nothing in front of me. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six paces up to the green. And then it's pretty flat. There actually is a little bit of a high spot there that it's all flat. So for me, there's no point trying to throw it all the way up to the flag. What I'd want to do here a little bit more would be something to try and get it reacting like a putt. Now, if I can get it running down, you may hear as well, it is a little bit windy. I'm straight down wind here as well, so it will release again a little bit more. But if I can get this to react like a putt and run out like a putt, I'm going to have some good control of it. And this comes into our first shot. So like I say, I'm not going to try and throw this now three yards short of the flag and let it spin up. I'm going to play more of my medium, uh, sorry, more of my low shot and let it run out towards the flag. So to do that, a couple of things that I will do. As I address this golf ball now, instead of having it in the center, I'm just gonna move it ever so slightly back and I'm just gonna get a little bit more shaft lean on it. That is now gonna take out some of the bounce of the golf club and also deal off the golf club. And then what I'm trying to do as I do this, I'm trying to hold this shaft lean on throughout the shot. I'm not scooping it up, leaning my body weight back and helping it up. I'm trying to actually maintain the lean so I maintain the same loft and it should come out a little bit lower and get to run from there. So let's have a look at that shot. Okay, so I've built that set up. I've got a little bit more shaft lean and I've also picked a shot that you'll see highlighted there now that I'm gonna land it and it's about 50, 50% of the way, I'd say, with it being a bit downwind, I'm going to see this bite and then it's going to run out a little bit. So it's more of the shaft lean and let it run out. Here, a bit of weight, lean. And I actually just overdid that one there. I hit that fantastically well. I've just landed it probably five or six feet and it's just shot on a little bit more. So if I were to play another one, I just readjust and try and see that I land it a little bit shorter and let it run up. Again, so I've got a bit of shaft lean, a bit of weight here. I'm going to maintain it. Fantastic. Got at the spot I wanted and... Oh, it's hit the flag. It's hit the flag and not gone in. <laughs> but as we saw there, for a lob wedge, that ball came out very low. It didn't get above my waist height at any point now. Everyone would tend to see that with a lob wedge, it would be the one where we throw it straight up in the air. It comes down and stop as where changing my setup that you saw with that little bit more lean and maintaining it, I've able to hit more of a running shot. Let's now have a look at more of a medium flight shot. 
Okay, so the medium flighted shot here, we're just gonna pump it up. It's only gonna fly probably another two or three feet higher in the air and release a little bit more again. So a couple of changes I'll make. I'm not gonna have as much shaft lean now. The ball's gonna go back to central and I'm gonna just try and maintain again the same angle I have it set up, not add any shaft lean or take any out during this shot. So having a look at that one there, like I say, pretty central this ball position if anything slightly forwards press my weight into the left hand side now and i've got quite a neutral lean on that shaft there and all i'd be trying to do is maintain that as i go through i'm not trying to add to it or take any lean off there i'm just trying to set it up and deliver it very much the same way now as before the leading edge got involved a little bit more when I was playing my running one and you saw more of a divot here I'm just going to feel that I just graze the turf here with the bounce of the club so let's give that one a go okay so I've picked my spot where I want to land it. it's about 55 percent of the way down the hole just with it being downwind as well I'm just going to take a little bit off it and again what I'm trying to do is just rub this bounce along the floor not take the leading edge in too much with loads of shaft lean I'm going pretty neutral and we should see it pop a little bit higher. I will also just raise the club handle up a little bit more to stop the heel snagging. And from here, central stance, neutral shaft. Picked it off nicely. Just caught the downslope there and it's just run on ever so slightly, but I'm not too displeased with it. It was a clean strike. I landed it pretty much where I wanted to. Coming downwind, it's always gonna run on a little bit more, but not a bad shot and again it went just a little bit higher so if i played one more it'd be something again uh ball's pretty central not much shaft lean and all i'm trying to do is just pop it up just bruise that bounce on the floor lovely shot and it's just trickling down that slope and it's a tap in length now so let's have a look at the final one the high shot and how we're going to play that one Okay, the high shot. So we've had the low one, we've had the medium one. And generally what you'll see as you're going up in flight, you're gonna find more obstacles in the way. That medium one there, I was just going over the, the knuckle of the bunker and didn't have chance to hit the low one because it would have caught that. As where well. now, with this high one straight in front of me, we've got the trap that's going onto a down slope and running away for me. So it's gonna be sort of pertinent that I get this ball up quickly, I get it stopping quickly so it's not getting away from me. If I tried playing too much of a low shot, I might not quite get it and I'm in the trap, too medium again. Same thing, it's bringing some trouble into play. So now I'm gonna take the trouble out of play by flying it further and getting it onto the green further up towards the flag and stopping quicker. Okay, so in this one here, what I'm actually gonna do, I've got my ball just in front of center now, a little bit of weight in that left side, in the lead side, and I'm actually just opening the club ever so slightly and I've got that toe again in the ground there. As you can see, I've not got any shaft lean. And what I'm actually gonna try and do as I go through this one is hold the loft on. So as you see there now, the face is almost pointing almost back towards me. I'm not gonna get it here where it's leaning too much and looking de-lofted and away from me. Through here, I'm gonna feel that I almost under-release it and get the club sliding under a little bit more to help me get it up in the air and get it stopping quicker. Okay, so we're gonna give this one a go now. I'm just out here. Got the ball just in front of center. Wait there, and I'm just gonna feel that it slides under. It's gonna pop up higher get close to that flag not bad just rolled on a tiny tiny bit probably landed it a little bit too close to the flag there so I'll come a couple of feet shorter now but did we see straight away that that ball was flying actually up higher than the flag there so again same shot same setup just going to take a little bit off it straight away very quick to stop that one really dug in slid the club under lovely on that one and now i've got a pretty pretty good chance of making my par so three different types of shot there guys we've got the high we've got the medium 
and we've got the low. Find out what the situation is that you're hitting on. Does it require you to go over an obstacle? If so, you'll probably need the high one. Is it that you just need a bit of flight or is it that you can run it up? Choose the one that's gonna get you the best result from there. Practice, like I say, with one club and hopefully you should start to see some better shots from there. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, give that like button a smash if you think that's gonna help you. A big thank you to Formby Ladies as well for letting me come down and shoot these videos here. It's been a real pleasure. The course is brilliant. It's one of my favorite places to come and shoot. So thank you to them. If you're new around here as well, hit that subscribe button so you get more tips to help you improve. And also drop me a comment down below do you like these videos on the course? If so, I'll do more of them for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.